Well, George, looks like Bill built a bunny hutch in his yard. Want to go see the bunnies? <laughs> there you go. Hey there! Got George with you? <laughs> How'd you know it was us? Hmm, well, guess. Hey, I just got bunnies. Want to see? <laughs> George had never seen a bunny up close before. You like bunnies, George? <laughs> Do they have names? Sure. There's Fuzzy, Whitey, Brownie, Spotty, Black Ears, Cottontail, and Herbert Nenninger. And that's their mom. Ah. Want a pet one? <laughs> Which one? Brownie? Whitey? <laughs> Fuzzy. Fuzzy's cool. There's some things you need to know about bunnies before you pet one. Oh, no! It's time to deliver my papers. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> the bunnies were so still and quiet and fast. They were almost too fast to see. Definitely too fast to pet. And absolutely too fast to do as they were told. Their mom knew enough to stay in the hutch. But George wasn't taking any more chances. Bunnies were too fast. George would have to outthink them. <laughs> One down, six to go. for George. Bunnies are too young to know about footprints. It takes more than a superior brain to outthink bunnies. It helps to be wearing a cap. Three down, four to go. Squirrels don't like surprises, not even small ones. <laughs> he counted the bowls. He caught Whitey, Spotty, Black Ears, Cottontail, Brownie, and a jumpy squirrel. For doing that and being so patient, I'm gonna let you pet one right now. Petting a bunny isn't easy. It's all about maintaining control. Step one, unlock latch. <laughs> but you wanna pet a bunny, don't you? <laughs> okay, you sure are one careful kid. <laughs> hey, how'd that acorn get in there? <laughs> 